Hello and welcome to the ninth episode of my Brittany playthrough. Now, last episode we actually managed to take Anjou away from Provence, and now we have a a full a full purple blob without any other colours in it, and it's truly wonderful. I feel we're actually at the moment fabricating a claim on the province of Berry, Francis Berry, and then it means that we can get troops across to the rest of Europe without having to ask for military access, which. To be honest, France just will not give us, which, again, is understandable as we took four provinces off them. So <laughs> I'm not too worried about that. We'll gain prestige again, of course. As I say, can't be bothered with the papal mini games. We'll move our troops just to the edge, just so that we can get in there and hopefully take over Berry very quickly. Now, the diplomat will take. Um, not very. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, pause. All right, okay. Oh, <laughs> I want to take a moment for this. My king, Francis, entered into a military coalition against us. They will find no safety in mere numbers. Worrisome. Right. So, it does seem like France are the only people in the military coalition against us. So, I'm not too worried about that, as... Uh, they will only gain the... the, the they will only gain the coalition casus belli, which means they can obviously attack us, if they have three or more people in the coalition. And that's not going to happen too soon, I don't think. I, I might at the moment, though, think about attacking either Tyrone or Ulster. Well, no, no, sorry. Tyrone, which has the province of Ulster, and Leinster, which has the province of Leinster, because um, th they're both embargoing me at the moment. I don't think we're in the same trade node as them, so I'm not quite sure why they're doing it, really, but I don't know. It's a free war, and we like land, don't we, really? <laughs> and I suppose if we have if we have the Emerald Isle Island in our in our control, it gives us well. It means we're a lot closer to the New World. Well, I say a lot closer. We are somewhat closer to the New World, and that could be quite advantageous to us in the whole colonization process. But we'll see what happens um, after I've fabricated this claim on Berry. Now it seems that our aggressive expansion is only minus thirty-five on France, and that is really not that bad considering we took four provinces and so you can definitely tell they've toned down aggressive expansion national epic our subjects have taken to telling tales and legends about Jean the fifth de Dru. the legend says that in Brittany's darkest hour he will return to the nation and deliver it from evil regardless of the truth in that statement we could use this in our propaganda so we could we could gain yearly prestige for another 10 years uh, and lose some quite negligible amounts of power and money or we can lose prestige. Um, I think, yes, I love a good story. Now, this trade dispute, Cassus Belli, is uh, a bit of a bastard, really, because it means that France is embargoing us, and as they have pretty much all of their provinces in the same trade node as us, it means that our trade power is going to suck for a little while. So we need to get this, this war with France going as soon as we possibly can. We are still allied to... Um, Castile and Burgundy and Savoy, although England not so much anymore, but they didn't really help us anyway. So if I do go to war with France, again, I'll hope that Burgundy and Castile come to my aid. I wonder what vassals we can create. Alencon and Orleans. Um, not worth it, really, I don't think. Alencon, they're both one province miners, so it's not really worth it. Especially in the new patch, you can't do the whole um, release a vassal and then feed it feed it provinces anymore. That just doesn't work. Um, I'm not sure why. It was a little bit overpowered, I suppose, but there you go. So we've now fabricated a claim. Um, hmm. I think maybe we fabricate another claim. I, I don't see any reason why not. Uh, cow. Hmm. We actually have a lot of diplomatic power, so maybe we just go to war with France and, you know, see what happens. So if we declare war to take Berry, who will join us? Castile will, Burgundy will not. Now that sucks. Again, Burgundy will not. Yet yeah, that really, really does suck because Burgundy have a huge amount of men, as you can see there. I'm not quite sure why they won't join me, but apparently they won't. They are. Hmm. There seems to be no reason why they wouldn't. They do not have a truce, although they have a truce with Genoa, which may be why, actually. I wonder how long that truce with Genoa will last until. Let's have a look. 1479, so three years. So, to be honest, we might as well get going fabricating claims on other provinces. We'll fabricate a claim on Cal, or Ku. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. Yeah, as, a, as I said, there will not be anything exciting in this episode. It, it will just be preparation for the wars to come. 
I think hmm, we might actually fabricate a claim. We can't fabricate a claim anywhere else, I don't think, unfortunately, as we're not bordering any other provinces. Although now might be the right time to go and attack Leinster or something like that, if I'm honest. Actually, Leinster is a vassal of England, so maybe not. Maybe Tyrone, as we definitely do have the show superiority trade dispute Cassus Belly on them. No one will join the war, but that's not too bad as there are one province minor, so they shouldn't cause too much of a problem for us, which is always very nice. Ooh, ru oh, oh, jeez, what's this? So, ah, now, black news indeed. Our king, my king, our people are losing confidence in your government, leading to a stability drop. Now, that is because our old monarch has decided to die a little too soon. His heir is not quite ready to assume the role of monarch, so a regency council from the upper nobility is ruling our nation. Now, that's going to be for another six years, so that sucks really, really badly, especially now we're on minus one stability. Uh, we're going to have to take out this rebel unit, and I think that'll be the end of the episode after this, and I might skip forward a few years before I make the next episode, because uh, when we've got a regency council, not much can happen, because I don't think we've got any royal marriages now because of that. Oh no, okay. I, I lie, we do still have royal marriages. I'm not quite sure why I said that. So we've we've now taken out the rebels. It wasn't too much of a, a hard task, but uh, time consuming and resource consuming nonetheless. Leopold VIII has been elected as the new Ro Holy Roman Emperor, and I, I, I think we'll draw a line down here, where you can see my mouse. We're going to draw a line down there, and we are not attacking anything east of that line, because otherwise the Holy Roman Empire will come down like a ton of bricks on us. And that is... Just not fun for everyone. Ah, now, pause the game. Quest for the New World. Um, this allows the recruitment of explorers and conquistadors. And this is going to be the first step into colonising. We're definitely going to take that. Um, now, next, now what we're going to do next is, uh, I think we'll hire, hmm, we'll hire a conquistador, Henry de Kutman, and we'll get him, well, We'll get him on a boat, like so. We'll get him on a boat with three transport ships, um, maybe half actually. Hmm. Actually, yeah. Oh, this is this is going to be wonderful. Actually, I'm going to save this for the next episode. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time where we will be travelling to the New World. And I personally cannot wait. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.